Do you know which data structure is used to implement the emergency system in any hospital? In the hospital, patient who needs immediate medical attention will visit the doctor first. This means priority is given to the patient who is in critical situation. So, it doesn't matter who comes first or who comes last. Whoever needs an immediate medical attention will visit the doctor first. In other words, the patient with the most critical situation is in the front of a queue and the patient who doesn't need immediate medical attention will be the last. So, we need a data structure that will sort the data according to some priority. This data structure is called as priority queue. Each element in priority queue has some priority assigned to it and the priority queue will sort the data according to that priority. So in our case, each patient has a priority assigned to it, which is the severity of the disease. Whenever patient come to hospital, then we will add them into queue. Now we have only one doctor available at the hospital with the name Joy. So doctor can treat only one patient at a time. Consider Ross and Rachel have the fever. So they come to hospital for visiting. So we will add Ross and Rachel into priority queue. Now, now Chandler had a heart attack. He needs immediate medical attention. His problem is more severe than Ross and Rachel's problem. So Chandler will be in the front of a queue. Now Monica had some infection and she also needs a medical attention. Her problem is more severe than Ross and Rachel but less critical than Chandler's problem. So we will add her to the second number in priority queue. Now the doctor will first treat the Chandler, then Monica, then Ross and then Rachel. In this way priority queue will be used to implement the medical system. Now let's see how we can use priority queue in Java. First let's create a patient class which will have the patient name and his priority. We will also define the constructor and compare to method in this class. Compare to method is used to compare two or more objects of a class. Now when we add these objects into priority queue then we should tell the priority queue that which object should come first that is which object has the highest priority. So the compare to method is used for it. For the sake of this video we will have three priorities. First one is a critical, second is a moderate and third is a minor. So patient with priority one is a critical. Priority queue is a part of java.util package. So first we have to import it. Next step is to create an object of a priority queue class in main method. Its syntax is like creating object of any other class that is first name of a class in our case it is priority queue then data types in angular bracket in our case it's a patient class then the name of object and then constructor of a class. Now suppose Ross and Rachel came to hospital so we will create an object for them and their problem is minor so we will set their priority as a 3. After creating an object we will add them into priority queue. Now Chandral came to hospital he had a heart attack. So we will create an object with a high priority which is priority 1 and then add them into queue. Now Monica came to hospital because she had an allergy which is a moderate priority that is priority 2. So we will create an add object into the queue. Remove function is used to remove element with the highest priority from the queue. So when we use the remove function then it will remove the Chandler from queue and once removed doctor can treat him. Similarly next time Monica will get removed and after it Ross and Rachel will get removed. Once the queue is empty means doctor has treated all the patient. You can use the ease empty method to check if the queue is empty or not. If you like this video then subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.